I'm pretty sure being an interior designer can be rewarding, but it also comes with different challenges and pain points. These challenges can be frustrating and stressful, especially managing time and deadlines. But overcoming them can lead to a successful and fulfilling career. In this video, I'll provide you with prompts on how to create a beautiful interior design that you can customize easily. You can use this as it is or as an inspiration. The limit is your imagination. My name is Anil and I'm here to help you overcome some of that limitation. So what is prompts? Prompting is how humans can talk to AIs. Simple as that. It's a way to tell the AI what we want and how we want it, usually done with word text. Okay, now that you know what prompt is, so the first step is to know what your client is looking for. Examples are what type of style they want, is it a small room or a big room, should it be colorful, how much is the budget, and many more. So in this video, let's assume that we already have the details. The client wanted to design their master's bedroom. They want it modern, simple yet stylish, spacious, and clean. The colors they want to explore are white or black or both. For the second step, we will use Midjourney. If you haven't used Midjourney, you can click on the link that appears in this section of the video. Okay. Now that you are in Midjourney, just type in forward slash then the information that you have, modern style, comma, simple but yet stylish, comma, spacious and clean, comma, color black, comma, settings, double colon, space, bedroom, dash dash, three, colon, two. For those who are watching, what kind of styles do you like for your room? Please comment below. So this will take a while. I will just fast forward this. Wow, would you look at that? This looks nice, right? I want a room like this. Okay, so the third step is to select the image that you think the client will likely approve. So just in case that di you didn't like any of the image that you see right now, you can click on the refresh button here. Or if you found already the image that you like, you can click on the U icon and it will upscale the image. So it would look like this if the image that you, if you click on the refresh button. So looking at this, I like the first first one for the second iteration. So I'll just select that too. So now you can see the first one that I selected, the upscaled one. This is what it looks like. Now just in case the client wanted to add something, you can use the image and use Adobe Photoshop to tweak it. Or you can try to use the same image and modify it in mid-journey. But keep in mind that Midjourney doesn't provide the same identical image twice. To modify the image, we will need to use dash dash seed and dash dash stylize. Dash dash seed is a parameter or command that helps you keep your results more steady. The individual variation will still look different from one another. Then dash dash stylize parameter lets you change the strength of the default stylize from 100 to 1000. The closer you are to 100, the less likely it will follow your prompt. But the closer you are to 1000, Midjourney will be more imaginative with its design. Going back to Midjourney, click on the emoji icon and then look for the envelope, which is this. Just in case that you don't see the envelope, you just type in the, on the search bar envelope and it will appear. Okay, so I already clicked on it. So Midjourney already messaged me the seed number. All right, let me check here. This is the seed number. All right, before you copy it, go back to the image. Go back to the image, right click on that image, 
click on copy link and then forward slash again and then space then go back to that image copy the prompts that you use and then change the thing that you wanted so right here color black you can see color black I have I'll, I'll change it to red all right and then you at the end part of the prompt you just put in dash dash seed then go back to the message given by Midjourney, the seed number, and then go back. I just copied it and then paste it here. And then press, and then it's dash dash stylize 200. So this will take a few minutes. So I will just fast forward this. Okay, after several refresh and upscale, I was able to find the right image or the similar image. I already put in an envelope here. So let's go back to the messages and see if it's similar. Okay. As you can see, they're kind of similar, um, but the the panels here, the first image has grids and the big window has grids, but on the second image, it doesn't have that grids. All right, but it's similar, but the, the image has, uh, the second image has red, a tiny bit of red, which is good. Now you can present this to your client and you're good to go. Now that you know how to create interior design image, here are some more examples of images that I created earlier with imagination. I hope you like this. To know more about AI and how you can use it for your business or freelancing career, click on the link that appears on this screen. Thanks.